All right, so we have some new tech that was just recently found. Um, it was found by Cracklin. I don't know how to say the first part of his name, but so basically, it's it's weird. It's kind of like a double slam, but it's easier. You get less damage, but you can do weird things with it. So I'll show you everything in a second. So um, I'm gonna explain how it's done. So I'm gonna show you if you're on the edge, right? I'm on the edge right now, and if I jump, I'll get an indicator. So if I were to jump and press uh, slam, I'd get 65 damage. Now if I were to do the hop slam trick, which would be jump just to see if you can get an indicator, like yeah, I can see I got an indicator. If I crouch, if I hold my crouch button, I jump and I press slam right away, like literally right after I jump, I'll get more damage. Now you're probably like, oh, you just got three damage, like what is that going to do? Okay, first off, every damage counts, right? You can actually pull off 70. I think that's the maximum amount of damage you can get using this trick, depending on the high ground you are in. But usually it's 70. Um, and I'm going to show you really cool things you could do with this. But before I actually get to that, I'm going to also show you one more thing. If I'm up here, jump, slam, I'll get regular 70 damage at this exact spot. Using the hop slam, I'll get more damage. So, like I said, if you could set up on the edge and you could use the hop slam do it you get more damage now you could do very weird things with this uh with this hop slam trick so depending on the angle that you uh use this trick on you can do something like this and it's definitely possible to at least hit a 125 i believe um it's really weird like i said it applies to other spots i'll just leave it at under six but i i've gotten I think 113 right there. What's really cool about Hop Slam is you can combine it with a wall slam glitch. Now, if you don't know what a wall slam glitch is, I'm just going to show you really quick. You can see I get an indicator in a very awkward angle and a very tight squeeze and my character just gets stuck on the wall and you fall down and you do tons of damage. So that's a wall slam. Now you can combine that trick right here using the uh, Hop Slam. Now if I were to just do a jump and indicator slam. You can see I'll get caught on this wall and do 82 damage. I mean, that's decent, but like hitting this wall at this angle, you're kind of, your slam might just bug out. To be honest, you're not going to do any damage. Now, if you do do the uh, hop slam, you could see I got caught on a different set of walls and I actually got put right there and I actually did more damage. So that's what's, uh, that is what's useful about this trick. I'm going to show you another spot that I found with it right over here. If I were to do the hop slam trick. Alright, so here's another spot where you can combine hop slam with wall slam. So basically, if I were to come right here and do a arc slam, I'll get about 100 damage. If I were to try to do an indicator, uh, indicator slam through here, about 66 damage. Now, if I were to do a hop slam, I'll get caught on the wall above and I can do over 110 damage. And you can actually pull off 125 right here. It just depends at the angle you hit it at. Well, that's good enough for me. Um, so yeah, you can kind of see the uses for it, combining hop slam and wall slam, or just using hop slam just just to gain more damage with their indicator slams. I mean, it's a useful trick. It's, it definitely is. Um, you kind of see the uses for it. Try to look for other spots. Just post them on Doomfist World Outs Reddit page. I'll actually link that in the uh, description. If you do find any cool spots using Hop Slam, uh, thanks for watching.